Hey guys and welcome to the new YouTube tutorial. Today we will be creating this animation in After Effects. This animation is part of the lessons that I have in the membership program where I have a few courses available and this is one of them. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you the full animation for all of the lessons that we currently have. So if you want to learn this animation, follow the link in the description below and you can join our membership program. So this character is already rigged. Actually, this in love animation is uh, already created. So in, in this tutorial, I'm going to directly start here and show you how I created this crying animation. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start with the pop-up. That will be the first thing that we are going to be animating. So our character uh, is in love like right here and now we would like to move this cursor and make it click on this next emoji so let me find my pop-up here it is and i'm going to zoom into my timeline so now let's add some keyframes i am going to add a keyframe for all of these options right here and by this time i think i am just going to zoom in and move the cursor here where the cursor will be clicking like okay this looks good now go to like two frames after this and let me copy this scale animation because i don't really need to be creating a new one now when the cursor clicks like right here i want to add two more position keyframes and by the end of it i want it to move slightly here let's see how that looks okay i think it looks pretty good uh when the cursor is moving like right here i want this to become black and white and the square right here can be great so these two i'm clicking ctrl shift and d to cut and duplicate and now uh, i'm just going to edit these like in my effects panel i already have the black and white effect so i'm gonna enable it and I am going to change the fill color to this gray. So, okay, and now let's make some adjustments to this layer. Uh, so, this is my crying emoji and this should be, yes, this should be my square behind it. So, Control shift and D to cut and duplicate. Now, let me add a scale animation of this rectangular over here but don't forget to parent this layer like the crying emoji to the square so i already parent this to this and now let me copy these because this is the animation yeah of the previous emoji and i'm just going to use the same one and let me see when the cursor clicks so it's around here so i'm going to control v paste it and let's see how that looks okay great and now let me actually cut these and make them start here and this right here and as you can see this layer over here it doesn't have keyframes just because uh, we basically added it to the new layer so let me parent this layer to this layer and i'm gonna extend this layer over here and now when this emoji goes down let me change the fill color to the same field that we had here so i'm just gonna copy this paste it here and i am going to disable the black and white effect so let's see how that looks okay amazing so the only thing that i notice is that this emoji is not scaling down because it wasn't parented to this previous layer so let me parent it here okay the pop-up is ready now let's go back to our character to see if the timing is right okay amazing now now the first step would be to add a keyframe for every single thing that we had animated so i'm just adding a keyframe everywhere he is in love and then suddenly i want him to fall down to its original position however i wanted to add a little bit of this comic effect that you can see here so he's just kind of standing there then he looks down and then he jumps so it's good to play with the timing like this because otherwise 
it would just feel a bit too rushed and everything will happen at the same time which would look a bit weird so now let's add a little bit of pause as we mentioned so uh, this animation stops at 10 seconds now at the 11th second i am going to again add keyframes just so i can have a backup in case i mess something up great so now the first thing would be for him to change his mouth and look down i am going to first change his mouth uh, right let me see so right here okay here i'm going to change his mouth so let me open up the mouth precomposition here we go and now i want the mouth to be kind of rounded like a circle because he will be surprised Control shift indeed to cut and duplicate and we already had have this mouth somewhere this is the mouth that we want so Control d to duplicate that and then I'm just gonna go here and click on the left bracket to bring it up here. Let me move it, like I want it to be here. Now you, so I can see the keyframes because here we animated this and now we won't be really animating it. So I'm going to remove the scale keyframe. So we have boom. Let me just zoom in because yeah, these two overlap. Okay, great. And now let's go back. Okay, so boom. Boom. Okay, so and, and at the same time, I want to remove the hearts and have him just look normal and kind of surprised. So uh, I'm going to unhide these layers and I'm going to find... Yeah, okay, so these are the heart layers. So we already have a keyframe here. How about we just change the heart scale to zero and the path of these two layers, we can just copy the first keyframe because we already animated that. And at the same time, I want the eyes to scale down and just look normal. So I'm just gonna go there and make sure the scale is 100. So normal, and I'm gonna remove these keyframes here. So let's see how that looks. Okay, I think this needs to be faster so let me just move these here okay great the last thing that i want to do with the hearts would be to change their position because they scale down somewhere kind of in the middle let me see this okay and let's animate the eyebrows just a little bit like i am going to make the eyebrows go down like here in the middle because i have a few more keyframes okay so they would go down and then they would go up like right there let me delete these let's see the whole thing now great so he's not in love anymore now let's add the second movement which is him looking down so first he'll look down as we mentioned before and then he'll he will jump so I'm gonna add a keyframe around here then he'll look down first okay i'm moving the joystick basically okay right there and let me move just rotate his head a little bit right now the rotation is minus nine let's just make it zero so i'm just gonna play around with these keyframes a little bit until i have the perfect motion now it's time for him to jump what i'm gonna do would be to go around here and we can fix the timing later and i'm going to go at the start of my composition and just copy the body position at the start i want the body to go like down just because i mean he has to bend his knees but let me adjust the legs first uh so what is the original position of the legs okay okay so by the end of this animation, when he finish, finishes his jump, this is how he'll be standing. And same for the hands. I just want them to be normal. We'll adjust the timing later. For now, we just want to have like the basic movement. Okay, so this doesn't look good. Uh, first of all, the legs and the hands need to stop their position here. Although again, I will change this later on now let's adjust the timing a little bit 
So this is how the animation looks so far. Now it looks a bit robotic because the legs and the hands are moving with the body and we don't really want that. So let's see what we can do. And I'm going to actually make the legs animate before the body jumps. And I'm going to offset one of the legs like this. Let's see how that looks. Okay, kind of, but not really how I want it. So on this stage, I'm just going to directly, yes, move it like this and this like there. Let's see. Okay. The rotation of this foot can be, yes. And let's offset it a bit more. Just play around with these settings, guys. Okay. Well, this looks way better now. Okay. It's smooth and nice. Now, the let's fix the arms. So, again, I want them to start before the body starts to move. Well, I think this looks good. Again, I'm just going to play the whole thing so I can make sure the timing works. Let's see. Let's let it play for a few times. Yeah. The only thing that I would change would be to make this movement faster. It just looks like... Ooh. So let me just quickly fix these legs. Okay, so this is how it looks when I fix the timing. Remember, guys, that your animation might look a bit different, obviously. But the important thing is that you, if you want to create a motion like this, uh, it's important that you follow these steps. So basically, in order to create this kind of cool cartoon effect, these are the steps. So first the cursor clicks, then the eyes and the eyebrows and the mouth change, then just the face and the head move then we have a couple of frames of a pause then the legs and the hands start moving and then the body moves so this is the sequence so mouth eyebrows then we have face then we have legs and arms and then we have body now i'm just gonna do a few more adjustments before we start the actual cry animation so here in the middle of these keyframes I'm just gonna actually copy this and um, so that's the 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 like the kind of the original frame I'm just gonna make it here just move it there and this one like kind of right here so we just have like one more motion before he lands in the previous lesson we added the expression for the hands I'm just going to make sure this is zero okay guys I'm going to stop part one here Next week, we're going to continue this animation and I'm going to show you how to create this one. This is the full course that we are creating with members. Basically, we're creating this animation from scratch. And if you want to learn how to create these cool motions, you can become a member in our program. You also have access to monthly group calls, private Facebook and WhatsApp groups, and you receive the templates for everything. This is one of the courses, but we also have courses on logo animation, typography animation, more courses on character animation as well. They're all with me and they all have a, a like a detailed tutorial with a template. So I think you're going to enjoy it. If you want to join us at a very affordable price, the link is in the description below and next week we're just going to continue the crying animation i'm going to show you the rest of it thank you so much for your time and i'm going to see you next week